the year was 2008 and my buddy Jeff Palmer and I were drinking somewhat heavily at Zeitgeist San Francisco and then we decided to take our bicycles for a ride out of this leftist hellhole and as we were bombing down one of the San Francisco hills, I decided against my better judgment to hop onto the curb, which I did pretty successfully, except then my bicycle just kind of got away from me and kept going in midair. And I landed on the ground. Now, I landed with my two feet, except I was wearing these cycling sticky rubber 510 shoes. Really, really, really sticky rubber. And just as my right foot planted on the ground before my left foot was able to plant, um, my body just kept going, basically. And again, these sticky rubber shoes, like, once you plant them, I mean, they ain't going nowhere. So my foot was just basically as if stuck in concrete, and my body kept going around the foot, causing a bimalleal fracture in my right ankle, also fracturing my femur. I didn't know that at the time. I felt nothing. I ended up on my ass, but then I got up and my right foot just gave way. I couldn't walk. So my buddy Jeff Palmer, the good friend that he was, said he was going to take me to the hospital. And I said, hell no, I ain't going to the hospital. I'll be fine in the morning. <laughs> so he took me home and my ankle swelled up the size of a huge grapefruit and then I went to the hospital and learned about just how messed up it was had an operation a few days later some titanium hardware installed so on and so forth but all that to say that that left me bedridden for months and in a cast for something like six months so, the doctor said, obviously, that, you know, you can't get the cast wet. So, that basically, um, you know, I, was, I wasn't able to take showers. I ended up having to take baths with my foot outside of the bathtub. It's kind of a silly story. The story of my, the genesis of my YouTube um, career, I guess. So, needless to say, I was bored as hell for months. So I decided to start a YouTube channel. And I decided to talk about boxing because I was a boxing fan, right? So, you know, YouTube, I don't know about all of YouTube, but the boxing community just as it is today, was extremely toxic. And I didn't really want to have too much interaction with all the black racists on here, uh, all the nationalistic, insecure little boys. I just didn't want to deal with what became known as trolls. But, I mean... Back then, people were, it would seem anyway. Maybe they weren't any worse than they are today, but I don't know what it was. I just didn't feel like dealing with these retards, basically. So, I wanted to name my channel something that was appropriate for why I was there in the first place. And something that would turn off insecure little boys. So I wanted to name my channel Real Men Take Bubble Baths, 
right? I was, I guess I was feeling a little weird because I had to, you know, instead of showering, I had to be there taking bubble baths. Let's just bathe, basically, right? And, yeah, I don't know, it just felt appropriate because that's, that was, you know, my life at the time. And again, I just wanted to turn off all these retards. I didn't care to be popular. It wasn't about that. It was just an outlet, you know, because I was bored and I felt like talking about boxing. But because your name could only be so long, you know, I ended up with men take bubble baths, right? And being raised in Chicago, you know, where real men wear black, right? The white socks. That kind of gave me the idea, you know. But again, I couldn't say because of how short the name had to be. I couldn't say real men, blah, blah, blah. So I just said, men take bubble baths. And it's interesting to me how so many little boys out there automatically, I don't know, associate bathing with sex? What? What's what's so sexual about bathing? It's like Virtuoso on the BDA, right? And other people like him. Um, these, well, let's just call them what they are. Not to say that people on the right are right. But these new age city slicker leftists, you know, whenever they hear of anybody raising animals, the first thing they think of is, well, sex, right? Everything is just sex, sex, sex. Everything is sexualized. Whether you're raising animals or taking a bubble bath, for some people, it's, it just automatically goes to sex, right? These people are freaks. It is what it is. And, again, because they're so brainwashed and, you know, probably intoxicated with all the shit that they eat and the nasty toxic water that they drink, so on and so forth, their hormones are out of balance, right? Which is why they just attack you online for having an opinion about a fight or a boxer, which is why everything comes back down to sex, which is why... You know, they're gay, if only a little bit. It's okay, guys. If if the thought of raising animals makes you think of having sex with animals, then that, that's your problem, right? If the thought of taking a bubble bath makes you think of sex, you've just been, you're a degenerate, right? It is what it is. And the goal at the time was to get rid of these degenerates, just to turn them off. I didn't feel like dealing with them. I don't know if back then you had the block function. I don't think you did back then on YouTube. I just didn't want to... I just wanted to, you know... I was only interested in people who were secure in themselves and their sexuality, definitely. On my channel. I didn't want to deal with retards. So yeah. That's that's what I called my channel. I guess it was. A point of controversy for some people. Uh, it, it made some otherwise normal people feel insecure. Because you know. They're probably a little bit gay. Probably. It's okay guys. Or you're just immature. Or there's something wrong with you. I don't know. At any rate. Yeah, my first channel on here was called Men Take Bubble Baths because that at the time was unfortunately my reality and this accident and being stupid has, and the ensuing boredom has led me to become, I guess, a YouTube creator. It wasn't known as that back then. YouTube was so much better back then. Whatever. And I've been on here ever since. You know, I've changed my channels. I've closed down certain channels because I had gotten too many subs and I just didn't want that. I always wanted to be a small channel because my shit is not for everyone. 
it's to be accepted here, okay? It's not a right, it's a privilege. If you cool, you cool. If you're some insecure weirdo with zoophilic or, you know, homosexual tendencies, it's not for you, man. Basically, not for you. I mean, I don't got a problem with, you know, anybody's sexuality so long as it's within, you know, within bounds, obviously. So long as you're not hurting anybody. But, you know, don't make that anybody's business, okay? And again, if you... If you think raising animals, if the only thing you could, the only reason you could think of why people would raise animals is sex, please kill yourself. Anyway, that's the story. I promised you, you would get it and there it is. So, yeah, man, take bubble baths. There's nothing wrong with that, faggot. <laughs>